and welcome to Wiley Capital Market Updates. Market Close The benchmark indices started the week on the stronger note with Sensex rallied over 500 points boosted by the better than expected GDP data. At close, the Sensex was up 505.72 points or 1.15% at 44,000, and the Nifty was up 140 points or 1.08% at 13,109. About 1,869 shares have advanced, 974 shares declined, and 169 shares are unchanged. GAIL, St. Pharma, Indus In Bank, ONGC, and UPL were among the major gainers on the Nifty, while the losers were Nestle, Kotak, Mahindra Bank, Titan Company, NTPC, and Bajaj Finance. All the sectoral indices ended higher led by the PSU Bank Index with nearly 3% gain. The BSA Midcap and Small Cap indices added nearly 1% each. Indices were firmly in the grid of bulls as there was a left out feeling clearly visible since morning. The advanced decline ratios and the breadth was positive and even the Nifty Small Cap 100 index was showing the beyond Z as that index itself is up only 33% since its inception. The market started December trading on a strong footing raising that benchmark to a fresh high due to a good GDP data. The manufacturing PMI realized today showed a slight contraction in manufacturing activities compared to the previous month, though the growth remains strong. Markets across the globe made a positive start to the month expecting an extension of Neverpur's record-breaking gains along with the strong hopes of coronavirus vaccine. We believe that this optimism can sustain in the near term with a shift towards mid and small caps led by the lack effect. The WTI crude oil prices are trading at $1.44 to $1.46 per barrel from the last one week and all the eyes are now on the OPEC meeting outcome. Meanwhile, the OPEC has delayed the talks to decide its production strategy. OPEC plus ministers on Sunday could not reach an agreement on whether to delay a scheduled January crude output increase. Some members, including the Saudi Arabia, are concerned about the global energy markets remaining too weak to absorb the additional barrels of crude, while the other members, including the UAE, want to sell more crude. The census went up at 505 point at 44,655 point, and the Nifty 50 went up by 140 at 13,109 point, and the Bank Nifty went up by 208 point at 29,817 point, and the Nifty Mid 100 went up by 188 point at 19,903 point, and the Nifty Small Cap 100 went up by 59 point at 6,633 point. Now, let's check about the commodities and the currencies. The British pound is trading at rupees 98.39 and the US dollar is trading at rupees 74.16 and the Brent crude is trading at dollar 44.40 and the gold MCX is trading at rupees 50,077 and the silver one lot is trading at rupees 61,960. OPEC Plus is currently scheduled to restore in January about 2 million of the 7.7 .7 million BBG cut. According to a Goldman Sachs Estimate crude prices could fall about $1.5 a barrel if OPC Plus doesn't delay the January production increase. However, the crude oil prices are likely to find support from vaccine optimism and the strength in Chinese economic data. Now, an update on the RBI monetary policy which is scheduled to happen in the coming three days. What should a central banker do when one is seeing rising yet likely to cool off inflation? When you see a good Q2 GDP growth data, yet uncertainty exists with respect to coming quarters. When you need liquidity to provide the credit to real sector, you grapple with not so high credit of pay. This could be the center point for the discussion ahead of the RBI monetary policy. We expect the RBI to be and hold yet another time and suggest an extended pause and conflicting signals emerge from macro data points. Focus also could be on how much is a desired liquidity to ensure the optimism balance between the rates and the monetary transmission. So that's it for today. I will be coming up with the market updates on tomorrow. All of you, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and also all of you, please stay home, stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you.